There are three modes with the new Grimsey T3 version 3 gimbal. Before we begin, we are assuming that we have light bridge control turned on and that we have made the gimbal pitch angle bounded between 89 and 90 degrees. The three modes are follow, map, and lock. Because we are using the light bridge control, the status light will be blue. From our tests, we found that the gimbal boots up into follow mode due to the solid blue status light. To switch between operation modes, press the C1 button on the remote. And now that we are in a map mode, as can be noted by both how the gimbal pitch angle rises to point forward and how the status light is still solid blue, pressing the C1 button a second time switches the operation mode to lock mode, which is observed from both the blinking blue status light and how the gimbal enters nadir position. And continually pressing the C1 button will cycle through modes in a loop. Lock mode is where the gimbal heading moves independently from the drone heading, and follow mode is where the gimbal heading follows the heading of the drone. There is limited information on map mode, so we can't recommend that mode until we have more information on its practical use. For yaw control, press the C2 button on the remote. We have found that yaw control only works um, on follow and lock mode, and does not work in map mode. And that is the three operational modes of the Grimsey T3 version 3 gimbal.